you can pretty much go down any aisle in your grocery store and chances are you're going to run into a product made by General Mills. The company brought in $17 billion in global sales just last year, making it one of the world's biggest food companies. Ken Powell is a General Mills lifer. He joined the, the company uh, more than three decades ago right out of business school. He's been the CEO for five years now and he joins me now. Welcome to Wall Street. Thank you. It's great to be here. Um, let's start off with corn. Corn prices are up over 30 percent at this point. How is this going to factor into uh, General Mills? So, you know, generally we think our inflation next year will be 2 to 3 percent all in for, for all the inputs that we buy. And we got a broad range. This includes labor in our plants, energy, packaging, uh, grains. Uh, grains are actually uh, less, you know, 10 percent or a little less than our total input baskets. So, um, so the grain complex might be a little higher for us next year. But, uh, you know, on balance, we think it's going to be between 2 and 3 percent. The good news about that is that last year we had very high inflation of over 10 percent, the highest that we've seen in over 30 years. We think that this lower inflation next year of 2 or 3 percent will mean that consumer prices will be very, very stable uh, next year, and obviously that's good news for the consumer. So as far as it trickling down to the consumer, you don't see that happening? You know, right now we don't see that. I mean, you know, the, the, we know that the market is uh, gyrating a bit on corn right now. It's that t time of year where every week there's a different piece of news, but we haven't seen anything that would make us really materially change um, our uh, expectation for uh, our, our broad market back basket inflation next year. Okay, and yogurt is beginning, beginning. it's become such a huge market. You're introducing, what, 35 new products? We are, yeah. Pe Pepsi uh, is having its own line. They're what, entering, yep. What is the, what is the rage? Well, I mean, yogurt is one of the most exciting, fastest growing categories uh, in, in the grocery store. And, and the reason for that is people love the way yogurt tastes. Uh, they love the health values of yogurt. They love that it's convenient, that you can eat it anytime, grab and go, breakfast, take it with you to work. So it, it has the things that make food categories very attractive uh, in our day and age. And it's growing you know, high single digits, uh, very exciting. So what's happening is uh, new competitors are entering and our retail partners love the yogurt yogurt category and they are expanding the section. Uh, I can remember when the yogurt section may have been four or six feet of that dairy aisle and you can go into some stores now and the yogurt section can be 25 or 30 feet. You seem to be putting a lot of money into emerging markets. Any concern, uh, any worry about slowing growth in Brazil and China? You know, we haven't seen uh, our business slow down. You know, for instance, in China, uh, Chinese consumers are really looking for the same thing American consumers are. They like convenience. We're selling a very popular line of frozen dumplings uh, in China and dim sum. That's going extraordinarily well. We're selling snack products there under the Bugles brand name. We also have a very large haagen ice cream business in China. And we're just seeing, you know, for food products, uh, consumer demand in China for on our businesses, very resilient. What about organic? A lot of people may not realize that General Mills has a big organic line. Uh, do you see this as a separate niche sort of opportunity or is this an industry, is this where sort of the industry is headed? Is this a growth area like it, yogurt is? It, it's, it's definitely a growth area for us. I mean, our, our organic business, uh, which is called Small Planet Foods, and, and, and some of our brands are Cascadian Farms, cereals and snack bars, Muir Glen tomato products, Larabar uh, products, uh, and a business we just acquired, uh, Food Should Taste Good, uh, uh, snacks. So these are uh, very high growth uh, uh, products. It's a very high growth division for us. Uh, there are consumers who are really seeking these kinds of products out and so uh, it is a growth area for us. We're very interested in, in further investments there to help that business grow.